What's the best daily routine to achieve your goals? There isn't one, but there's what moves you closer towards your goals, and then there's everything else. Now my day starts at 5 a.m., but what I do first thing in the morning is not what you think, because I've recently changed my morning routine to be more in alignment with my goals. And a 5 a.m. start might not work for you, but here's why it works so well for me. So I have three main categories of goals. First is business growth goals. Next is physical development, which is everything to do with my training. And then I have my family goals. So I figure out the work that needs to be done in order to edge me closer to my goals every week. And then I build habits around that work. And this is where I think most people fail when it comes to fitness goals. You've probably heard that to achieve your goals, it's not about how hard you work, but more about the consistency and frequency of your workouts. But I'd like to go a step further and talk about the habits you have around other goals. Because in my 25 years of being a coach, I've noticed that people fall into two categories. There's people who have habits around everything they do in their day and those who don't. Now, why would this affect working out so much? It's because when you haven't ticked off your daily tasks at work and put in the time at home with your kids and your spouse, then it's very hard to find the headspace to get a good workout done. And the longer this happens, the less likely you are to work out consistently. Now I've trained some of the most successful CEOs and directors in Australia, and these are the busiest people I've met with more pressure on them than anyone else in their huge companies. Yet they used to train with me five days a week for one hour. And the reason they were able to do this is because they had a schedule that they stick to. So they could turn up to their training session knowing everything else was in its place. And this is what they needed to do most right now. This is why I have a routine that I stick to from Monday to Friday. Because if I haven't given my wife and son the time they need or moved my business forward, then it's very hard, sometimes impossible to find the headspace that I need to do a good workout. So I get up at 5 a.m. every day. I come down to my office, have a breakfast smoothie and then meditate for 10 minutes. And then I'm straight into work. I get my priority tasks done straight away and as quickly as possible. And then I move into creativity. And this is where I plan what I'll be filming today, write scripts and do my research. Then at 7 a.m. I go upstairs and spend an hour with my family. I always do as much cleaning and housework as I can before my wife and son are up. And then I put a coffee on and have a protein shake. And because I've already been at work for almost two hours, I can really focus on being present with my family. Then at 8 a.m. I come down and do my workout. This is actually the hardest part of my day that requires the most discipline because my mind is telling me I need to get into my work for the day. So I put on some music and I just focus 100% on my workout. I'm usually done by about 10 a.m. when I go for another smoothie or a meal and then I get into another period of focused work for 90 minutes. I've read that if you can do two periods of focused work for 90 minutes a day, that's more than the average person gets done. I can't remember where I heard that, but it makes sense when I reflect back to what work was like in a gym or an office with lots of people. You're just constantly getting distracted and pulled out of flow. Another statistic I heard is that the average person at work is in flow for eight minutes out of every hour. Think about that. So to ensure that I stay in flow, I have no notifications on my phone or computer except for my phone ring because every single beep, text message, whatever, it all takes your attention away and pulls you out of flow. This concept of staying in flow and avoiding distractions has been so useful for me. All right, so at around 12 p.m. I go up and have lunch, and then I have my meetings after that. So by the time I'm now dealing with things that are out of my control, like what my team might need from me or what my brother might need, my business partner, I've already had two focused 90 minute blocks of work to get my projects done. I've done my workout and I've had some good family time. I think this is where a lot of people go wrong. Their actions just aren't in alignment with their goals, which means the goals are just an idea, something that will never become a reality. Now, let me ask you something about your goals. If nothing changed in your life now and you kept moving in the direction you're headed, where would you be in 10 years time? When I asked myself that question 16 years ago when I was 29, it scared the hell out of me. And it was enough to get me off my ass and start this journey of developing habits and sticking to a schedule. This is what works for me and might not work for you, but I believe that the principles I've shared here can work for you just as well as they've worked for me.